Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, I'll start by looking at the uh, NASDAQ, and as you can see, we basically fell off a cliff today, down more than 2%, but we're still hanging on to this range. We need to break below uh, 14,000. Uh, 700 give or take before we can go and test the 50 uh, moving average after that it's it's probably probably all the way down towards the uh, previous lows here of roughly 13,000. so we, we can be looking at a flag pattern here or we could be looking at the train wreck both are plausible but i'm leaning more to the train wreck at this current stage there are too many things that are basically warning this market that we are going to see even um, lower levels uh, before we go higher uh, why i'm saying that if you look at for example the wix is up nearly 10 percent today if you look at the u.s treasury 10 year it's up 5.9 percent today and it doesn't make any sense that the treasury is going um, uh, is rallying this significantly and it uh, has signs of basically breaking out when uh, and stocks are um, rallying at the same time that's not going to happen if treasuries are going to to rally then that then stocks are going to take a hit and the main reason why we have this why we have the uh, volatility and why we have an increase in the in the treasury is because uh, the fed is going to um to um, step in and um, and uh, change its monetary policy not to be not bullish for the market but it's going to tighten the uh, those policies uh, significantly and that will be very negative for indices and stocks as well so if we drop below here tomorrow then we may well go to the 50 moving average and after that all the way down to the very bottom if you look at technical indicators we can see that the macd is turning around quite aggressively Stochastic has crossed the signal line in heading towards negative territory and uh, our RSI has also turned around. So technical indicators are also pointing to uh, lower levels or momentum is shifting in this market to basically um, a continuation of, uh, of this bearish run that we were in. So we basically broke out, but we got rejected here at the 61.8 Fibonacci and that is uh, a very logical, 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 logical what happens. So you fall 20%, you regain up towards the 61.8 .8 Fibonacci retracement, and then you drop. But let's see. To the upside, if we manage to take out the um, 200 moving average, then we may go back to the very all time highs. But at this moment, it's looking very bleak for that. If you look at the SP 100, this fell but we are still above the 200 moving average also the 50 moving average but these technical indicators are turning around really really aggressively so if you break below the 200 and the 50 then we may look at a market that drops back to 4100 uh, give or take so uh, yes very similar to the uh, nasdaq uh, this can drop all the way down here and if we break below this then we may see a massive tidal wave of significantly lower levels. If we take out uh, the highs here of uh, 4,640, uh, uh, then we may go back to the very highs. This could be a flag pattern, but considering how these technical charts are looking at the moment and considering the volatility and also the treasury in rallying, I would not bet my, the ranch that this is going to rally uh, to the upside but let's see it's still above the 250 moving average so looking at the dow jones we can see it has got rejected really heavily here at the at the 200 moving average it's trading at the uh, uh, 34.3k and if we break below the 50 which is around here 34.3 then we may drop all the way down to 32.3 uh, 
if you look at technical indicators, we're going to see that the stochastic is very bearish at this point. RSI is very bearish, and the stochastic, is, now the MACD is also about to cross the signal line, indicating that momentum is changing. And we are, in all of these indices, making lower highs and most likely also making lower lows. So looking at the European market, it just is hanging there. It's not going up, and that is a very, very, very... Uh, bad sign for this market it has been hanging on here for more than two weeks and usually when it it does not matter it just runs out of momentum it tends to basically fall it doesn't matter it doesn't, matter. It doesn't mean that it will fall all the way back to the very bottom but uh, usually um it gets rejected here and it shows signs of rejection and it's also gotten towards the 61.8 fibonacci retracement which made sense as well that we will drop after that so we're trading at 14 14.4 uh, k and drop below the previous uh, candlestick here at 14.1 k then we may see this drop all the way to the bottom uh, stochastic is uh, rushing towards the negative territory and that's a bad sign rsi is bearish and the, uh, the macd is flat at this point has not crossed the signal line yet so if you look at, at the volatility index i uh, said this yesterday that it looks like that we are basically making a move long-term move to the upside and that kind of means that in the long run uh, we will see a market with more volatility and that is not good for stocks or indices and so on as they may fall as people uh, uh, get fearful it has rallied significantly today 10 percent and has found a bottom and rallied above the 200 moving average it has not taken out these uh, 23.5. If it does, then it's going to go significantly higher. Um, but everything is pointing to uh, this going higher. You can see that Stochastic has turned around, the RSI has turned around, and the MACD is turning around as well. So if we go back towards these levels here, uh, then that's a very um, compelling sign that we may see these indices and also these stocks take a major hit, as they did take quite a big hit today. If you look at the 10 year, it has rallied significantly, 5.9% today, got into the very high here, basically making a double top. If we break above here, then we could see this in the long run, uh, rally roughly 0.9%, uh, which is basically the measured move here of this flag pattern. So hope you find this helpful. You'll want to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.